that was a shocker. Game one, James Harden, baby. That's what it's all about. Game one, Jimbo. Um, he ended the night with uh, 8 of 17, 9, 28 points, 8 assists. Uh, he was really solid, but um, he had a great first half, obviously. Where the Mavericks scored 8 points in the second quarter. I'm pretty sure, right? Uh, 8 points in the second quarter, somehow. Uh, like, it was crazy. They just couldn't make anything. Whether it was 3-pointers, whether it was drives. Just nothing went for um, for Dallas. Some of it was really good defense by uh, the Clippers. Some of it was taking tough shots, which, which Luka and Kyrie do, right? And some of it was that the players, the role players of the Mavericks were just not making their shots in this playoffs debut for them. Um, whether it's PJ Washington, whether it's uh, Derek Jones Jr., Daniel Gaffer wasn't as impactful as you would hope he would be. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. to me is unplayable because defensively he is just that lost. Uh, Dante Exum had a rough game, so uh, the role players were bad, but I also feel like uh, Luca had a really bad game in terms of body language, in terms of the shot, you know, shot taking and some of the defensive things he did today. I, I thought he had a like a prima donna game in a, in a, in a way. Uh, Kairi also early on looked rough. Did well to get back into the game in that second half, but it was just too late, right? The Mavs had some fake comebacks, but at the end of the day, Paul George made some buckets. Uh, Ivica Zubac looked like Will Chamberlain. He was fucking sensational. 20 and 15. Didn't expect Zubac to be that much of a, you know, uh, bully against Daniel Gafford and against Derek Lively, but I guess I guess he does have the prototype that can bother these people. Uh, I mean, these people, these players in Lively and Gafford. And that obviously helps the Clippers, slows the game down, breaks the defense of the Mavericks because, I mean, uh, Daniel Gafford has been a great rim protector and a great defender for them with PJ Washington, but Zubac can cook them all. And that opens up the game for Terence Mann, who has 3 of 3 from the three-point line, to James Harden, right, who was hooping, to Paul George, and the others. Shout out to Russ, man. Russ continues to just be really fun uh, for the Clippers, and he had a really great game today, so... Um, no Kawhi, obviously. We don't know when he's coming back. Quest, I don't know, man. I just don't know, man. It, it's, it is what it is, man. Kawhi, Kawhi is just uh, really unlucky with this shit, man. Not much you can do, man. Sometimes it just does not go your way, right? Um... Anyway, heading into game two, uh, what about, what are my takeaways? Really? I wonder how James Harden will play, obviously, because like I you know, showed you and said, game one James Harden usually is great. Uh, so there's that factor. Can the Mavericks uh, centers and role players make their wide open shots and also stop Zivica Zubac? Will they be able to do something about Zubac's size and strength this time around? Uh, how can they adjust? Do they send two at him more? Do they, you know, will they force him out, out to paint a little more? Can they spread the floor a little more if they go smaller? I don't know. I don't know. Can they play him off the floor might be the question. Um, and, mm, yeah, not much more else to say, really. It's mostly all about the dudes, right? Uh, if James Harden continues to play like this, if Paul George continues to play really well, the Clippers obviously have a chance. But it was about the role players more today. Hmm. So the question is, can you... So... So yeah, that is my r ramblings, man. I don't have much much else to say. 